Welcome to Fantasy Fanfiction, Konoha. I can retrieve objects from all realms. Chapter 41 The two Jonan seemed to be able to hold on, and perhaps even had a trump card to turn things around, so the he finally chose to support Kosuke Maruboshi and Gichi Hirano. Of course, part of the reason for this is that the puppet master is chasing after him. Shanshiabe, who had obtained the eight legs of the puppet, relied on the exquisite puppet to dominate the chaos. Compared with Duyi's small group before, Duyi had a sharper edge. When Duyi glanced away, he had to admit that San Shinobi was really good at puppets, sharp. I saw that the puppet seemed to have a new life under its control. The sharp blades of its limbs shot out across the dazzling but deadly silver-white arc, and the expansion and contraction were extremely flexible. At this moment, the eight legs of the puppet turned into a hurricane again, easily tearing apart the defense of a small team, and a mechanism was triggered, shooting out a shower of poisonous needles, and the Konoha shinobi who was hit suddenly screamed in agony. Not only are the limbs equipped with sharp blades and poisonous needles, but under the control of the puppet master, the puppet's eight legs also release spider-like nets from time to time. This is obviously a mechanism that Duyi has not explored before. If we knew there was such an agency, Duyi couldn't help but murmur in his heart, but it was just a flash of thought. The facts were in front of him. There was no, if, or, if. The performance of the puppet master Jonan made him feel proud. He immediately stopped hesitating and said solemnly, follow me to support Captain Hirano. Yes, yes, seeing the companions who lived together day and night die tragically one after another, the weak-tempered Yoshihiko Shirai tightened his pale face and suppressed panic. The same was true for Kuno Kurosame. The boy who had never seen blood, even in the world of ninjas, still needs it takes some time to adapt. But they finally mustered up the courage to face the bloody battle in front of them. So the three of them set off immediately, using Duyi as an arrow, and rushed towards Hirano Yiichi and Maruhoshi Kosuke. In this gap of time, the second genin of Hirano team was also killed. Yoshihiko. Shirai Yoshihiko's eyes were red, almost oozing with blood and tears. Calm down. Kuno Kuiyu quickly grabbed him. Ding. When? Duyi raised his knife to block the flying shuriken, and used his left hand to control the black rope hidden in the grass. With the hook of his fingers, the protrusion set off like a rabbit trap, entangling a San Shinobi who passed by in front of him. What? Ah! San Shinobi exclaimed, and then screamed. The black rope emerged under the influence of the wind attribute chakra, and almost broke one of San Shinobi's legs. Duyi rushed forward quickly, swung his knife away from San Shinobi's kanai that he was trying to resist, and pierced his throat. When he attacked the enemy, Kuno Kurosame and Shirai Yoshihiko resisted the enemies on the side. Especially Kuno Kurosame released Chakra and stepped on the ground to speed up his attack. He actually defeated San Shinobi Genin, and then Shirai Yoshihiko vented his anger. Kill with revenge. Well done. Duyi nodded with satisfaction. That guy is here again. Shirai Yoshihiko suddenly shouted. Duyi heard this and followed Shirai Yoshihiko's line of sight couldn't help but frown, and then said in a deep voice, let's leave quickly. As soon as he finished speaking, he headed towards the target first. At the same time, Hirano Yiichi also noticed them. He leaned against Maruboshi Kosuke and whispered, then resisted the harassment of San Shinobi's three teams and moved closer, come over. Since the commanders of both sides were deeply involved in the battle, the entire battlefield seemed extremely chaotic. The smaller number of Konoha Shinobi members was even more difficult to move forward. Duyi didn't dare to stop at all, but with a strong enemy behind him, Kuno Kuroyuki and Shirai Yoshihiko, who had completed the first kill, were at their strongest, and they followed step by step. Shirai. At this moment, Hirano Yiichi suddenly shouted, his voice full of anxiety. Shirai Yoshihiko was a belated observer, but his unique secret technique seemed to have been seen through, so that when the attack suddenly came, he had just noticed it and was about to lose his life. A cold light flew towards him, flickering in the corner of his eye. Duyi turned his head sideways and gradually saw clearly what it was, a sharp blade with a unique shape but slightly familiar shape. He immediately subconsciously lifted the ninja sword upside down and threw it out. In Kuno Kurosami's confused eyes, it flew through the air towards Shirai Yoshihiko. 
As the crisis approached, confused thoughts arose one after another, and a ninja sword reflected the cold rays of flying thorns. Shirai Yoshihiko was so frightened that his hair stood on end, and he actually stood still on the spot. However, it was precisely because of this that he was not pierced by the sharp blades on his limbs. He shot straight with the sword, and with a loud collision, the sharp blades on his limbs were also swung away. Hey, hey, came a sinister voice mixed with triumph, and Duyi's heart that had just been relieved couldn't help but tremble. He subconsciously pulled on the black rope wrapped around the ninja sword. Buzz. The black rope suddenly tightened, making a low trembling sound in the air. However, at this moment, the sharp blade of the limbs that had been swung away by the ninja sword made a smart turn, drawing a silver white arc in the air, holding the withered yellow pine rope connected to the tail, and pulled Shirai Liang Yan quickly entangled himself. Du Yi gritted his teeth and cursed. He tried to stop it but it was too late. The black rope's agility was indeed inferior to that of the opponent. The blade of the ninja sword slashed through the air. Shirai Yoshihiko, who was originally there, had been beaten. Pulled and left. No. Kuno Kuroyuki turned to look at Shirai Yoshihiko who was being pulled and flew backwards. The frightened and pale face reflected in his pupils made him widen his eyes and shout in a hissing voice. The corner of Shang Ziabi's mouth curled up in a cold arc, and his slightly narrowed eyes flashed as cold as a lion majesty. Then he casually took out a kanai and pointed it forward with the peak on his side. Du Yi clenched his teeth tightly, rattling and almost bursting into pieces. Shirai Yoshihiko's immature body was pierced by kanai, and a bit of blood came out, but at the same time, Shirai Yoshihiko's life ended. Don't go. Du Yi pressed Kuno Heiyu's shoulders. From the contact, he clearly felt the young man's body trembling with anger. It's just that with Kuno Kurosami's ability, rushing forward is just a matter of death. Du Yi may not care about Shirai Yoshihiko's life or death, but Kuno Kurosame is his teammate after all. But at this moment, a sudden change occurred in the center of the battlefield. Fire-style desert burning wave. San Shinobi Jonin's clear light suddenly struck, and the fire attribute chakra turned into a twisted wave of scorching air, making people feel like they were in the desert when the midday sun was at its hottest. The unique fire style creates a distorted glare, and the entire space seems to turn into a steamer, making people dizzy, dizzy, and uncomfortable all over. And then, San Shinobi John and Chungwang disappeared in the glare. Teacher Kuroda, watch your back. Bystanders clearly saw a short and stout Jenin loudly reminding him during the chaos. Then before he finished speaking, he was hit by the wind style released by San Shinobi who barely managed to deal with it. He screamed and was thrown away. It was turned out, life or death unknown. Jonan, known as Kuroda, did not panic at all. Even his stern face showed a hint of joking, and he quickly formed seals with his hands as if he was well prepared. Lightning style ground walk. The violent thunder and lightning suddenly bloomed, flashed in the air, and then merged into the pool that was originally arranged under the feet, so the sea level lightning style technique suddenly released its strongest power. In water terrain, the power of lightning style ground walking reaches its limit. The electric current was submerged in the water in a flash. It was difficult to detect with the naked eye but its power was not reduced. The San Shinobi ninjas who came into contact with the water pool screamed one after another. Although the electric current itself was not fatal, the paralysis caused by the body made the Konoha Shinobi masters grasp it. Opportunity. The flying kanai and shurikens, and the roaring bombardment of ninjutsu, actually reduced the number of San Shinobi ninjas by more than 10 in an instant. But this is just an add-on. At this moment, the center of this battle has also undergone tremendous changes due to this sudden incident. HMPH, San Shinobi Jonin, who circled behind the enemy and planned to launch an attack, was struck by the thunder and lightning raging in the pool. His strong body was suddenly paralyzed, and he let out a muffled groan from deep in his throat, and then his expression suddenly changed. Shocking change. Go to death. The corners of the mouth on John and Kuroda's stern face were raised, and the murderous intent quietly blooming in his eyes was extremely cold. He turned his elbow sideways and hit the mountain friend's face hard. Blood flew out in an instant, and then his sleeves fell from his backhand. The edge of Kanai was revealed. Brother Shanyu. San Shinobi John and Chungwang's eyes were about to split when he saw this. 
His companion who had been with him for many years was about to die in front of his eyes, and his heart ached. However, no matter how angry he was, the sudden lightning style just now also disturbed him. Even though he was far away and his body was not numb, he was unable to rescue him in time. He could only grit his teeth and hold seals with his hands. If you can't save your comrade, then take revenge for him. The one who was more anxious at the moment was Sano. He was not immune to the raging force of lightning style, but the impact was weaker than that of Cheng Guang. This made him only slightly at a disadvantage in the contest with the Konoha Jonan in front of him, and then just regained control of the situation again. However, one person's battle gains and losses are not important to the entire battle, and controlling such a situation has only a weak influence on the overall situation. However, if our own Jonan is defeated, it will undoubtedly affect morale, especially at this moment when the enemy and we are still in a stalemate. Zuo Yi yelled angrily, but he was unable to deal with his opponent immediately. He was stronger than him, but lacked combat experience and did not have the absolute power to crush his opponent, so the confrontation was always without danger, leading to an entanglement, fight. Moreover, there is no attribute restraint between the wind style that he is good at and the water style that the opponent is good at, which aggravates the situation. Wind style rage wave. Sano yelled ferociously, and the violent hurricane blasted past. Under this power that was stronger than wind style great breakthrough, Konoha water style Jonan retreated directly. The goal has been achieved, and there is no point in continuing to block it. Besides, the movement of another sand shinobi Jonan comes into view so of course he cannot sit idly by. Fire style explosion technique. Sand Shinobi Jonan attacks with anger. The hot flames are like blooming roses, but they devour Konoha Jonan Kuroda as if they choose people. Poof. As a result of pulling out the kanai, the flesh and blood body suddenly turned into a torn bag, and everything wrapped in it poured out uncontrollably. After killing the Sand Shinobi mountain friend, Konoha Jonan Kuroda turned his head and looked at the engulfing flames, and couldn't help but shrink his pupils. At this moment, a shout came that made him feel extremely reassured. Water style water barrier. A stream of water rose suddenly and turned into a water cast city wall. Laugh. Fierce flames struck the water barrier, water and fire were incompatible, and white mist and steam overflowed in an instant, spreading to all directions in an instant. The five attributes of chakra are water and fire. Jonan with similar strength can obviously not break through this common sense when he displays it. Water barrier blocked the fire style attack, but San Shinobi Jonan Chungwang was still furious and formed another seal to release a fire style move. The result of this is that the steam is thicker, which also breaks through the water barrier. However, after breaking through the water barrier, the fire style had little power left and was easily dispelled by Kuroda. Idiot. Sano yelled when he saw this, and quickly came to Chungwang's side, held his shoulders, and restrained him with a backhand scissor. Brother Shanyu has been killed. Chungwang turned his head to look at Sano with red eyes. Ninja code. Mission comes first. Sano looked at each other and said coldly. Ninjas have always regarded themselves as tools, and the priority of mission is the universal rule of the ninja world. They are as cold as stone and tough as weeds. They are ninjas, and whether they are cold or tough, they all exist for missions. The same goes for San Shinobi's John and Changguang. Upon hearing these scolding words, Cheng Guang's face was gloomy, but he gradually calmed down. The thick fog gradually thinned, and the refreshing gust of wind blew over the wilderness, and the enemy figures that had been blocked before could already be seen. Not surprisingly, the two Jonan of Konoha have gathered together at this moment. Even if they are not exposed, you can feel the calm atmosphere from their movements. Cheng Guang gritted his teeth in hatred, but after regaining his senses, he also understood that he was absolutely unable to deal with two Jonan with his own ability, let alone take revenge. Yamakabe. Sano was also worried about this, and immediately called out the name of the puppet master Jonan. At the same time, he couldn't help complaining. If the Yamakabe fought with them together, they would definitely not be in this situation. By now, he had forgotten about the sneak attack plan he had made, and only hoped that the person who would arrive later could make up for his mistake. When Sano's shout reached the ears of the puppet master John and Yamakabe, he was ready to take action again. After losing Yoshihiko Shirai, 
Do Yi and Kuno Kuroyuki finally reunited with Hirano Gichi and Maruhoshi Kosuke. From this, Do Yi also knew who the burden was, so no wonder San Shinobi sent three teams to pursue him. Even if San Shinobi did not know the identity of Sarutobi Junshi, when he met the enemy Jonan in trouble, he had to make up for it with a knife to feel at ease. Therefore, including the support of Do Yi and Kuno Heiyu, there were only four people to fight, but they had to resist the harassment of more than ten enemies from three teams and the killing moves from time to time, and they gradually became physically and mentally exhausted. Du Yi, who knew that there was a powerful puppet master watching from the side, was even more so, and the already insufficient chakra was gathered and consumed, and it was still getting thinner and thinner, and it was almost bottoming out at this moment. You should do anything without regrets, but Du Yi still couldn't help but wonder if his previous assumptions were too simple. Not only did the expected number of support personnel from Konoha's border guards differ from the actual situation, but now even Serutobi Masashi, the commander of the force, was dying and had become a liability. There is simply no worse situation than this. However, just when he was so worried, a dark green blurry figure suddenly greeted him in the distance. At this time, the Yamakabe obeyed Sano's order and abandoned the brat who had brought shame on him and attacked the two Jonan in Konoha with Sano and Seiko. Du Yi, Captain Serutobi leaves it to you, protect him. Maruhoshi Kosuke carried Serutobi on his back to dodge the attack, came to Du Yi's side, and said in a deep voice. Okay. Du Yi responded without hesitation. With dexterous movements of his fingers, the black rope wrapped around Serutobi Junshi like a snake. This move was not that Duyi was preparing to strangle the dying Serutobi Junshi, but was setting a trap. The fisherman's bait has hooks, and Duyi's bait has thorns. Anyone who tries to attack Serutobi Masashi will be entangled in the black rope. Even though there is not much chakra left in his body, Duyi is still full of confidence. Especially, Maruhoshi Kosuke started to take action at this time. Konoha-style Yun Zongyan, holding the broken sword in his hand, Kosuke Maruboshi took action decisively, his eyes fixed on the approaching San Shinobi team, his body flashed past lightly but quickly, and then he returned to the original place with a flash of silver light, as dexterous as a swallow flying through the clouds and mist. Kaila, with the sharp sound of the silk being ripped, the soft part of Chunin's waist and abdomen of San Shinobi team suddenly turned red. The color of blood looks particularly charming under the sunlight. The San Shinobi team was stunned, while Maruhoshi Kosuke didn't stop and quickly formed seals with his hands. Water style water cut. A bright line of water spit out from Maruboshi Kosuke's mouth, like an indestructible sharp blade, and in an instant, one of the San Shinobi team was lost. This is Konoha Genin. The other two San Shinobi teams were all frightened. Their hearts were pounding in panic at this time despite how harsh the attacks were before. San Shinobi couldn't come up, but Hirano Yiichi pounced on him. Although Maruboshi Kosuke's strength made him almost bite off his tongue, it was because of this that he could trust his back. Ding. When. The kunai collided, and Hirano Gichi violently kicked the San Shinobi Chunin back. Earth style earth split. Before the San Shinobi team could react, Hirano Yiichi suddenly completed the seal and clapped his hands on the ground. The ground beneath team San Shinobi's feet suddenly trembled. As they stood unsteadily, the grass cracked and burst. Ah. A genin immediately fell into the crack and screamed in horror. As soon as Hirano Yi knew that his ninjutsu didn't do much damage to Chunin who was a little more defensive, he stopped as soon as he saw it. He formed seals with his hands and closed the cracked earth. Since the San Shinobi genin fell quite deep, except for not even a trace of blood seeped out of the turned up grass. At the same time, Du Yi was not idle either. Chakra has bottomed out, and his physical strength has been exhausted. Originally, Du Yi didn't plan to take action anymore. The risks were greater than the benefits, which was a bad investment, especially since he had discovered the support coming from afar. This battle is settled. Judging from the direction in which they appeared, it was obvious that they came not from the camp, but from the border defense line, so those who came were Konoha Shinobi who was on guard duty at the border. At the same time, Du Yi is also a little unsure. There is a high probability that the ninjas on the border who came to help were not arranged by Serutobi Junshi. Otherwise, he would not have ended up in such a life-threatening situation. The horrific injuries from the shoulder to the waist on the other side, 
Even Du Yi, who has no experience in medical ninjutsu, can still feel the horror of its devouring life. So, how do the ninjas guarding the border know about the war here? There is no doubt that someone has gone to ask for help, but I don't know who it is. Back to the topic, the trap using Sarutobi Shinobi as bait was originally just a casual arrangement, so that if San Shinobi came up to entangle Kuno Kurosame and him, Sarutobi Masashi could be protected with black ropes. So this is regarded as an insurance measure, but in fact it is not taken too seriously. After all, Maruhoshi Kosuke has already taken action. However, unexpectedly, there was San Shinobi who didn't know the power of Konoha Genin and sneaked over quietly to kill Duyi and Kuno Kuisame. Of course, his ultimate target was Serutobi Shinshi. Kuno Kuroyuki watched the battle closely and relaxed slightly when he saw that Hirano Kiichi and Maruhoshi Kosuke were able to cope with the San Shinobi team, so he was completely unaware of the enemy approaching from behind. Duyi was cautious enough. Although he was paying attention to what was happening in front of him and was on guard against what was going on around him, even if he noticed it, he pretended not to notice it. Bang! At the last moment, he hurriedly dodged the kunai's backstab, then raised his arm to resist, and received a kick. Duyi gritted his teeth, feeling that his arm bone was about to break, and he flew backwards and smashed it with kunohei. The rain clumps. Seeing this sneak attack, San Shinobi paused hesitantly, glanced at the two brats, and the next moment he turned around and went straight towards Serutobi Serutobi. Duyi pushed away Kuno Heiyu who was blocking him, but he couldn't help but look at him in surprise. This guy actually planned to block the knife for him. In his previous life, despite his special profession, he also had several close friends. However, the final betrayal made him full of doubts and rejection of so-called friendship. But at this moment, he was touched by Kuno Kuroyuki's behavior. Maybe they were not friends, but comrades who could risk their lives to save him were more reliable than friends. His heart was touched, and Duyi did not forget the business. It was really business, and it was related to the life of Serutobi Masashi, the commander of the border garrison. How could it be a trivial matter? Between the two brats and the dying Konoha Janin, there was no doubt about San Shinobi's choice, so Duyi's arrangement was undoubtedly effective. The kanai in San Shinobi's hand was blocked by a thin thread, and the poke on Serutobi's body only caused his janin vest to sink slightly. Just when San Shinobi was surprised, as if a switch was triggered, there was a thin thread swung over and wrapped around San Shinobi's wrist. Then came the second, third, and until the fifth was about to wrap up, San Shinobi suddenly woke up and hurriedly planned to withdraw, but it was already too late. Duyi didn't want to be greedy. He immediately raised his index finger and controlled the black rope to strangle. Chi Chi. Hem. Ah. San Shinobi groaned first, then screamed. The black rope infused with the wind attribute chakra broke the skin of the wrist, tore the muscles, and was finally embedded into the hard bone. Du Yi didn't know what it was like to scrape bones to treat poison, but from the shrill screams of San Shinobi, he got some idea of it. So he shook his index finger with an indifferent expression, and with a crunch, San Shinobi's right hand was immediately severed, and the blood spurted out covered Serutobi's body. Secret Sword. Shadow Burial. A crisp shout sounded, and a short figure suddenly appeared from behind Serutobi Junshi, flashing like a phantom. The cold light disappeared in a flash, and after three seconds San Shinobi raised his head, his throat bursting with a bright red color. Huh, Do Yi released the handle of the knife with his left hand, then sheathed the knife. The sword cut so fast that not even a trace of blood was stained. Just after swiping this knife, Duyi's chakra was completely dried up, and even his vision was blurry for a while. Duyi. At this moment, an exclamation suddenly came. Duyi recognized that the shout belonged to Kuno Heiyu. He had heard it too many times in this battle, but he was a little confused at the moment. What was the reason for this time? Thinking this, he turned around slightly tiredly. Poof. Things happened without any preparation, and Duyi didn't even have time to change his expression. When the heart-stopping voice sounded, the tired look on his face was still there. But then, a sharp pain bloomed in his body. Secret skill, attacking blade. An unfamiliar voice came, followed closely by a familiar voice that sounded again. Duyi. It was a cry, the cry of Kuno Kurosame. Duyi's mind was inexplicably groggy, and he subconsciously followed the sound 
only to see Kuno Kuroyuki, a somewhat naive guy, with a ferocious look on his face at this moment, and his red eyes were surprisingly similar to those of Yoshihiko Shirai who died tragically not long ago. So Duyi couldn't help but wonder, why did he show that expression? Along with such questions, a heavy feeling of numbness emerged all over his head. Duyi, who was already exhausted, rolled his eyes as if he was going to roll his eyes, and fell down. There seemed to be some shouts coming from his ears, but his confused brain prevented his ears from hearing even a single word. Duyi was in a trance, and his vision blurred, as if night had fallen. Kama. A strong wind blew in the wilderness, and the support from the border guard swept in like a hurricane, breaking through the anxious battle situation. Be careful to stay alive. Genesuke Aoki shouted loudly. Jonan, who led the support team, nodded in response, and then ran straight to the center of the battle with the other Jonan. Seeing this, Genesuke Aoki did not overestimate his ability and follow him. Moreover, his injuries were not light. Even if he went up, he would not be able to help, but would become a burden. It was at this time that Kuno Kuroyame's anxious cry came over, and the intense emotion contained in it made Genesuke Aoki's heart tremble. What happened? Thinking this, he couldn't help but rush to follow the sound. A Genin's anxious shout is insignificant to the entire battle. When the support arrives, the San Shinobi's advantage is no longer, and high-end combat power becomes the most direct variable that determines this battle. Of course, judging from the morale of the San Shinobi, even if Jonin's duel reaches a stalemate, they will still be gradually defeated. So the San Shinobi's only hope is that Lord Jonin can quickly deal with the opponent and regroup the battle. Unfortunately, this situation is unlikely to occur. The puppet master Yamakabe's entrance failed to achieve direct results. Sano's call got the support of Yamakabe, but it also exposed the opponent. Therefore, even with the eight legs of the puppet, the sneak attack ended in failure. Wind style Jonin Sano, fire style Jonin Chengmitsu and puppet master Jonin Yamakabe compete against Konoha's Jonin Kuroda and water style Jonin. The battle is fierce and dangerous, especially after the unpredictable puppet master is added, the balance of victory and defeat gradually tilts towards the Sano trio. However, this situation was completely disrupted after the support of the border guards arrived. The entry of two Jonin changed the situation, from three against two to three against four. Sano, Chengmitsu and Yamakabe were forced to a disadvantage, and their defeat was gradually revealed. At the same time, Ryomaru of San Shinobi led his men across the border of Fire and Sichuan and rushed towards the planned connection point. Even though Lord Sano is always known for his ruthlessness, Taromaru is considered his confidant, so he knows some of the inside story of this plan. This plan was planned by Sunagakar's top management in order to reverse the defeat on the frontal battlefield. Even if they were unwilling to admit it, anyone could see that San Shinobi's defeat had already been revealed. The existence that can turn things around is obvious to Sunagakar. Master Sano did not say anything about this, but he could guess it, so he was already prepared for the person he would deal with. Thinking of this, he couldn't help but sigh, Konoha is indeed the strongest ninja village in the ninja world. This operation was an eye-opener for him, and Konoha Jenin left a deep impression on him. Even though there was some guarantee that the operation had not yet started, the news leaked out, so most of the ninjas called were good at civil service before, but Konoha's background can also be seen in Madara. Why? If Sunagakar could also have this background, why would he need to make the dangerous move he is doing today? Leongmaru couldn't help but sigh in his heart. A few miles to the west from the border is a canyon with the geographical characteristics of Kawakuni. The canyon is not deep, but it is enough to hide a team. We finally arrived. Leongmaru looked at the canyon from a distance, breathed a sigh of relief, and slowed down his pace. But even so, it arrived quickly. As if he sensed someone coming, there was a sound of footsteps in the quiet canyon. Ryomaru's face was slightly happy, and then he couldn't help but startled, as if he saw something unexpected. Ha! Huh, I didn't expect that it was you who came. Clear but casual words came from the mouth of the leader, but he was a tall and straight man with a long sword on his waist. His appearance was slightly different from Sunagakar's dress, and he had a samurai style. In the ninja world, there is also a famous country of samurai. This country does not practice ninjutsu but specializes in swordsmanship. 
It was also the place where the Five Cage Conference that established the form of the five major ninja countries was held, and it became quite prestigious in the world. In short, ruling a country with warriors also shows that the power of warriors cannot be underestimated. As for the Iron Country warrior, Ryomaru had never seen him before so he couldn't make a conclusion. However, he had heard of the name of the one in front of him for a long time, so he couldn't help but lower his posture and stepped forward to salute him respectfully. Ryusuke Sama. Ryomaru asked immediately, why are you here? When he said this, he also looked behind and to the left and right of the other party, but he did not see the special existence whose name he only heard but not his person, and his brows gradually furrowed. What appears here is another group of people involved in this operation. However, because they are each in charge, the other group has always slacked off during the operation, but now it appears here, and the filth in it is difficult to measure. At this moment, I can only try to make tentative inquiries. I really didn't expect this to come from you. Ryusuke raised his eyebrows as if surprised, squinted his eyes and looked slightly joking, then chuckled and shook his head, saying, well, that's fine to save me from staining the blood of my colleagues, even though I don't like that guy who shows off his tricks very much. The light words were like the water of a stream, full of leisurely atmosphere. However, when they reached Ryomaru's ears, they were like a stormy sea, instantly breaking away the defenses and suddenly ushering in the ice age, even the soul was frozen. Ryusuke, sir. Ryomaru's voice was trembling. He suppressed his fear and stared at Ryusuke of San Shinobi with a distorted face. Ha ha. Don't be afraid, it won't be painful. Ryusuke reassured with a smile. The next moment, his expression suddenly changed, and he waved his hand and shouted, Kill no one alive, kill them all. Hearing this order, the ninja who had not reacted immediately rushed forward. With a few clashes of sharp weapons and a few shrill screams, the canyon returned to tranquility. In the secluded canyon, the wind howls like a roar. Sano stood on a rock on a steep spot and looked around. All he could see was the border line. Master Ryusuke, it's time to retreat. Under the rock, a San Shinobi Jonin tied with a San Shinobi forehead protector raised his head and warned. Yes. Long Jia responded softly without turning his head, but still looked into the distance. When Jonin saw this, he also shut up. Anyway, the matter was done, and now he was not worried about any delays. San Shinobi Ryusuke stood for a long time sighed quietly, and whispered, as expected of Kanahagakur, Lord Third Generation's decision is correct. I only hope that this time things will be as expected and achieve the results. After another moment of pondering, Ryusuke grasped the hilt of the ninja sword hanging at his waist, immediately looked away, tilted his head and shouted loudly, mission accomplished, retreat. The figures of the San Shinobi quickly disappeared, and the quiet valley returned to tranquility. The few pools of bloodline remaining on the ground were covered by the sand and dust that followed. It wouldn't take long for all traces to disappear. This time San Shinobi violated the border and ended in such a weird way. The news from the Kawa country cannot be transmitted to the fire country, and vice versa, but even if it can be transmitted, there will be no San Shinobi to come to support. This led to the defeat of Sano and other San Shinobi. Duyi knew nothing about these developments and fell into a deep sleep. His head was in a daze, and when he suddenly woke up, he was greeted by a desperate nightmare, so yes, he did not wake up, and he knew clearly that it was a dream, but he was trapped in it and couldn't extricate himself. In that nightmare, he relived the despair of losing his hands. The foundation he was once proud of turned into the source of his deepest pain. Kama, your talent is unparalleled in the world, and I have nothing more to teach you. This was the old man who taught him his skills, brushing his beard and sighing, with a satisfied smile blooming on his wrinkled face. Kama, you are the only thief that impresses me. This was a sincere compliment given to him by an old enemy, but his words were filled with helpless emotions. Kama, don't even think about escaping. Anyone who violates the boundaries will be punished as he deserves. This was the official who was chasing him. Such a declaration made him awe-inspiring, but it always failed him or being teased. Kama, don't let me catch you. Otherwise I will teach you three swords and six holes. This was the threat shouted by a big boss who was angered by him. Kama, sorry to make your trip in vain, but although the jewelry is fake, there is also a treasure. 
This was the woman who called herself Junbao after a miscalculation and smiled at him. If she were elsewhere, maybe he would discuss it with her. Life and ideals. Now that I think about it, it's a pity that it was broken. There was an opportunity for him to embark on another path. Since then, his fortune has taken a turn for the worse. Comma. Brother, you shouldn't have come. At the wedding held in the church, the groom seemed unhappy, with a hint of eagerness and a hint of fear in his eyes. But in the end he stopped talking. The holy wedding reaches its peak with the bride wearing a pure white wedding dress saying, I do, and then everything is revealed. Unlike the plot in, Kill Bill, there are few dramatic situations in reality. Uma Thurman did not die, but lost his child. He was let go by the other party, but lost his hands. The iron stopped the wound from bleeding, but the bright red color dyed the church red. The church was no longer holy, and he lost everything. Reliving the muddled past again, life is like a faded photo. The wave of darkness drowns him. The whole world has lost its light, the warmth of the past has been deprived, and only the coldness remains with him for the rest of his life, like a walking corpse. So, he chose to end it. In the deep mountains that no one has ever visited, and halfway up the cliff, there is no obstruction from the strange shaped trees that stubbornly grow out of the cliff. It seems that the whole world is mocking, as if to say, look, you are just an insignificant passerby, so don't fantasize. What kind of treatment does the protagonist get? Comma. Everything was repeated and flashed back. Once he experienced it, it caused a trauma to him. He felt happy, angry, sad, and happy, and so on. It tortured him terribly, but it was as if the shizun button had been pressed, and even a trace of wailing could not be heard. Can't send it out. Gradually, I don't know when, the endless backtracking started to feel strangely stripped away, making all the sense of reality no longer exist. It's like a door that was originally closed was suddenly opened. The airflow between the inside and outside is exchanged, dissipating the heat in the room, and welcoming the lively atmosphere of the outside world. Seeing a glitch, Duyi struggled violently, and the hidden strength he had accumulated burst out, causing a chain collapse. His unwilling will burned up and turned into a power that broke through everything. That was the light he longed for. The ultimate power to tear apart the dense haze. Ah, he stood up suddenly, opened his mouth like a fish about to die of thirst, his chest heaved violently, and he took a big breath. Don't get excited, relax slowly. The gentle words contained reassuring comfort. Duyi's pupils were trembling, his face was red, and he looked sideways. What caught his eye was a frail woman with short chestnut hair. You can't get too excited now, and you can't do anything too drastic. The woman held down the boy's shoulder, where there was a bandage, and there was still a trace of blood oozing out on the right side of it. Under the cover of the bandage, there was a horrific wound that penetrated from the outside of the chest and penetrated from behind the armpit. Fortunately, the wound avoided the internal organs. Unfortunately. I am Shimagawa Yakina, the medical chunin at the camp. Mayajima kun, please lie down. The gentle woman with chestnut hair introduced herself, and her soft voice made Duyi feel at ease and he obeyed. The pillow was very soft and asymmetrical to the nightmare. After lying on it, Duyi even felt as if he was still in a dream. Looking at the exposed wooden beams of the rough-built houses in the camp, his mind went blank. He was so dazed that he didn't even notice Shimokawa Yakina leaving. You wake up, Duyi. The noisy shouts were filled with joyful emotions, so that Duyi could tell that it was Kuno Kuroyu who was coming even without looking. But Kuno Kuroyame came, so others must have come too, so he looked sideways with a pale face. Senior Fusuk, Mr. Genesuk, Black Rain, A. Eh? Captain Hirano is here too. Not only the Aoki team came, but also Hirano Yiichi. Let's see how you are doing. After all, we are ready to leave. Hirano Yi's expression was full of fatigue, and there was a hint of sadness in his slightly lonely eyes. Du Yi captured these keenly, but was still a little puzzled. Leave. The enemy who invaded this time is from Sunagakar, you should have guessed this. Hirano Yi rubbed his forehead and said while calming his breathing. Yes, puppet master, it's such an obvious sign. Du Yi nodded and said, and then asked doubtfully, but does that have anything to do with departure? I mean, we should have won the battle. Quote. What was supposed to be a question was said in an affirmative tone. That is true, but it is also related to this. 
Genesuke Aoki patted Hirano Yiichi on the shoulder, took over the topic for him, and then said with concern, Go and have a rest, Hirano, you are too busy these days, tired. The words naturally exuded a heavy aura. Do ye thought about it for a moment, and then he understood in his heart, and then looked at the frail chestnut-haired medical ninja who was leaning alone in front of the window with surprise. She calls herself Shimokawa Yakina, Shimokawa. This is the cruelest truth in the ninja world. Life can wither away at any time. Yes. Hirano responded in a low voice, reluctantly pulled out an ugly smile, glanced at Duyi, and then left dejectedly. Duyi kun, how are you feeling? Maruhoshi Kosuke's voice is still so gentle. Even though he has bandages on his body and injuries on his legs, he is still concerned about the conditions of others. Feeling. Duyi tried to move, but his words suddenly stopped. After waking up, he was more concerned about his hands, so he ignored other places. Only then did he realize something was wrong, the numbness in his right shoulder was extremely strong. It's like it doesn't belong to him anymore. You have been poisoned by a strange toxin. It will gradually harden the body of the poisoned person, first the limbs, then the expelling, and finally the brain. As the poison deepens, the body will become weaker. In the end, you can only let it go. He turned into a flesh and blood statue. Shimokawa Yuki Naomi explained, San Shinobi has always been an expert at making poisons, so this kind of poison is not recorded in the medical class. Hearing the news, Duyi frowned, and then he had some speculations about the departure he mentioned before. As expected, Geno Aoki said, currently, most of the elites of the medical team are on the battlefield of the Kingdom of Wind, and even that adult is there, so next, the wounded will leave for the Kingdom of Wind. Teacher Genesuke has already applied to be included in the escort team, so you don't have to worry, do ye? Kuno Kuroyame said carelessly. It can be seen that the cruelty of war did not make him lose his sincerity. Yeah, do ye nodded noncommittally. Do ye, do you have any questions? Genesuke Aoki asked casually when he saw the young man hesitated to speak. Yes, do ye nodded, and asked with a solemn face, about this matter, how is the follow-up? The matter has passed. For Genin like Duyi, there is really no need to continue to pay attention. His humble status is not enough to affect the strength of others, and his words and actions are destined to have little weight. Ninjas are tools, which is a true portrayal for ordinary Genin. However, Duyi is not an ordinary Genin after all. His views on things in the ninja world are also different. Driven by curiosity, he has a special desire to clear up the clouds about the San Shinobi border incident that happened before. The desire for truth. Later, support arrived, and after a fierce battle, we won the victory. Kuno Kuisame seemed to have returned to that battle, but what was different from the fear and fear at that time was that now he was in high spirits, as if he was in charge. Victory in the battle. I sensed the arrival of support at that time, so it was normal for me to win in the end. However, Mr. Genesuke, this is not what I want to know. Duyi shook his head, took a breath, and said, although those sand shinobi who attack there are a large number of people and the overall strength is very strong, but even I can see that their combat experience is immature, so their target is definitely not just border guards. The information Duyi knew could only be speculated to this point. He did not know the subsequent development of the situation and whether the prisoners were captured. Naturally, he was unable to judge the true purpose of San Shinobi's arrival. However, since nothing happened subsequently, it can be inferred that San Shinobi's operation ended in failure. The simple medical room fell silent as Duyi spoke, and after finishing these words, it became completely silent. The person who broke the atmosphere was the medical ninja Shimokawa Yukina. This weak woman was vaguely aware of the seriousness of this topic and left the medical room first. The door of the medical room was closed, Genesuke Aoki sighed quietly, and said with a wry smile, I am not qualified to touch this in the first place. As he spoke, he glanced at Kosuke Maruboshi beside him. Who would have thought that this guy with narrowed eyes and a kind face would be more powerful than the average Jonin? Hey, since you have guessed something, I will tell you everything to save you from making random guesses. Genesuke Aoki tilted his head and smiled. He was very lucky that all members of the team survived the battle. Speak quickly, speak quickly. Kuno Heiyu urged. This is a secret. Don't tell anyone after you hear this. 
Genosuke Aoki looked at Kuno Kuroyuki, and the situation at the beginning of the previous battle suddenly came to mind, and he warned him very seriously. Oops, teacher, you are so long-winded. I promise you won't say anything nonsense, so tell me quickly. Kuno Kuroyuki agreed without hesitation. This attitude made Genosuke Aoki's mouth twitch, feeling inexplicably worried. Stand up. Otherwise, why don't you say it? But facing the young man's intense gaze, this thought passed through his mind. Do ye, you can guess the final victory, but you definitely didn't expect to capture the opponent's leader alive. Genosuke Aoki was a little proud, after all, he brought all the support that ultimately decided the war. Did you get anything? Since he was captured alive, he must have dug up something. Yes. Genosuke Aoki nodded and said, those ninjas are indeed from Sunagakar. The leader's name is Sano Fuda. They followed the orders of Elder San Shinobi and carried out a raid mission. This is what it appears on the surface. What about the deep level? Duyi quickly asked. Most of the subordinates led by Sano Suketa come from civilian positions in San Shinobi. This is because they have little combat experience. Genosuke Aoki continued. The significance of such behavior is to ensure that the action plan is not leaked. Of course, I think San Shinobi has no more soldiers left to fight. Duyi also agrees with this view more than preventing the action plan from being leaked. It is not that he knows the internal situation of San Shinobi, but according to the development of the plot, San Shinobi was indeed defeated in the war. What is the goal of Sano Fuda? Duyi asked again. Whether San Shinobi still has the power to maintain the war has nothing to do with him. Well, it seems a bit, after all he will go to the kingdom of wind next. It is indeed as you inferred, it is not for the border guards. Genosuke Aoki's eyes flashed with lingering fear, and said, the war in the kingdom of wind has become increasingly tense, and a decisive battle may break out at any time, so the elders of Sunagakar made this plan this is a radical plan, order Sano Fuda to lead his men to a surprise attack on the border of the land of fire. Obviously he failed, Du Yi said, Although the border violation is serious, it cannot affect the situation in the Kingdom of Wind. That's right, so the border guards are not the target of the attack, they are just incidental. Haha, ha. that San Shinobi is really stupid. He couldn't even solve the incident, ha ha ha. Kuno Kuroyame laughed loudly. If San Shinobi hadn't been stupid, you would have been doomed, you little brat. Genosuke Aoki gritted his teeth, with a look of helplessness on his face. Kuno Kuroyuki cowered his neck, had a sneer on his face, grinned and scratched his head, looking a little silly. So, Mr. Genosuke, there must be someone else who can turn the situation around in San Shinobi's plan. Duyi has already speculated in his mind. If that is the case, it would be really amazing. Yes. Aoki Genosuke's eyes flashed that look of hidden fear again. What is it? Kuno Kuiyu asked curiously with his eyes widened. Yes, one tail Shukaku. Genosuke Aoki said loudly. After these words were heard, there was sudden silence in the medical room. Kuno Kurosame was a little panicked. Looking at the appearance of his teachers, companions, and seniors, he didn't dare to breathe for a moment, but he was very curious, one tail. Shukaku, what is that? If there is such a terrifying existence, it is impossible to say that it is really possible to succeed. Maruhoshi Kosuke broke the silence and sighed. That thing didn't show up in the end. Do ye then asked? No. Genosuke Aoki replied firmly. Do you know what the reason is? Do ye asked again. Genosuke Aoki shook his head, he had no idea about this. I remember that some of the San Shinobi I was chasing at that time did not appear again in subsequent battles. Maruhoshi Kosuke said, perhaps he sensed the defeat, so he changed his plan temporarily. Du Yi lowered his eyes and pondered for a moment after hearing this, then shook his head and objected, it shouldn't be like that. After all, except for the last moment, we are all at a disadvantage. Moreover, the war in the Kingdom of Wind is urgent, and the defeat of San Shinobi is imminent. If we speculate based on this, any but San Shinobi will not let go of the opportunity, so if the information dug out from the San Shinobi leader is correct, there are only two possibilities for the current situation. What is it? Genosuke Aoki asked with great interest. This talented disciple seemed to have a very powerful mind. Everyone knows that kind of terror exists. 
At least with the strength of the border guards, it is impossible to deal with it. If that thing appears at the border, the San Shinobi's purpose can still be achieved. Do ye analyzed? So the terror of the San Shinobi the thing didn't show up, or it didn't come at all, or there was an internal problem at San Shinobi, causing the plan to be suddenly changed halfway through. Is it the former, or is it the latter? Genesuke Aoki thought for a while and agreed with Duyi's speculation. After all, it was indeed reasonable, but he couldn't be sure it was the same. In any ninja village, Jonan is the mainstay. If the truth is the former is speculated, it means that the top management of San Shinobi are idiots and let the ninjas in the village die in vain. The latter is even more interesting. Did the people of San Shinobi who changed the plan hope that San Shinobi would fail? Otherwise, without this strategy of making dangerous moves, San Shinobi would definitely be defeated based on the current situation. Why can't it be both? Kuno Kuiyu tilted his head and didn't explain. If that's the case, the problems within San Shinobi are serious. Genesuke Aoki patted Kuno Kurosumi's head, but Duyi's eyes flickered on the bed, because that was his third guess, but he had no intention of saying it, after all, it was really amazing. Well, as Genesuke Aoki said, if that is the case, the situation inside San Shinobi may be very delicate. The memory of the previous life was of little help in this matter, and even the incident of this crime was not mentioned. It is not known whether the incident did not exist in the first place, or whether it ended in nothing like what he experienced. Shaking his head to get rid of many thoughts, Duyi's stomach rumbled, making his face confused. Ah, Duyi, you've been sleeping for three days, you should be hungry. Although it's not lunch time yet, there should be food in the kitchen. Just wait for me and I'll be back soon. Kuno Kuroyame clenched his fist and hammer. Tom, with an expression that should be the same, ran out in a hurry after saying that. Do ye, please rest. We will set off after the camp is reorganized. It will probably take a day or two. After finishing speaking, Aoki Genesuke and Maruboshi Kosuke left the medical room, leaving Do ye lying there. On the hospital bed. The side of the head touches the soft pillow. Under the bright sunshine from the window, countless free macromolecule dust is like dancing elves. It is small and insignificant, but it has a special interest when you look at it quietly. Normally, Duyi would not have such fun. The more he knew, the greater the pressure he would be under. Working hard to improve his strength without resources was boring, but he persevered. It's just that the body is injured at the moment, and the numb right arm does not feel stagnant in the flow of chakra, but it is extremely awkward. Even the basic but always practical practice of chakra control cannot be done. Of course, the most important thing is that the sinkhole that activates the master thief showed signs of being filled up during the battle, so without hesitation, most of the chakra was filled in. At this moment, the body could only lie on the hospital bed. Here, the hungry kind. The sound of pushing the door came slightly, Duyi glanced and saw that it was Shimokawa Yukina. That, Shimokawa Yukina bit her lip, her pale face a little tangled, her eyes trembling, showing the hesitation deep in her heart. Duyi's eyes flashed and he said, please forgive me. After the soft words fell, there was a silence in the medical room. The child was very talented in medical ninjutsu, but because of his mother's affairs, he was extremely resistant to becoming a medical ninja, and later chose to become a combat ninja. Shimagawa Yukina leaned against the door, lowered his head and whispered, I don't know when my shoulders shrugged, and my voice trembled a little. Duyi couldn't see the other person's face hidden by the falling chestnut hair, but could only see the delicate chin, which became a little crystal clear at this moment. Shimokawa Yukina's storytelling voice is touching, soft and soft, and has a unique appeal. But the story told by Duyi was actually very boring to Duyi. It was just the story of a rebellious boy. However, death is a big deal, and this sad thing should not be affected by other things, so Duyi just listened quietly. He knew that this was what the other party needed, a patient listener. After Shimokawa Yukina finished telling the story, Duyi said in a low voice, please forgive me. Yes. To Duyi's expectation, Shimokawa Yukina responded. Bang. The door to the medical room made a painful sound. Duyi. The food is here. Kuno Kuiyu yelled and walked in, carrying a large food box in his hand. Sister Shimokawa is here too, let's have lunch together. 
Kuno Kuroyuki seemed not to be aware of the gloomy atmosphere in the medical room, and perhaps he didn't even think of Shimokawa from his name, who was accidentally killed by a giant puppet. No need, there are other patients who need my care. Shimokawa Yukina forced a smile, and after telling someone, her spirit was no longer as low as before. The lunch at the camp was not bad, even if it was not sumptuous, it was enough to fill up the stomach. During the lunch, Maruhoshi Kosuke brought a large bowl of bone soup, and he shared half of Kuno Kurosume. In the end, both of them clapped their stomachs and collapsed at the table. Next to him, he was too lazy to move, so Shimokawa Yukina helped clear away the tableware. Are there any changes in the camp? Duyi asked casually after the meal. Kuno Heiyu held his chin and thought for a while, then said, Some people came from the village yesterday. They seemed to be from the torture department. They looked full of evil spirits and were very frightening. Interrogation department. I'm not sure, hee hee. Kuno Kuiyu scratched his head in embarrassment. It's possible, after all, there is a prisoner of San Shinobi. Duyi waved his hand and said, what about other than that? What are you referring to? Let's be honest, it's not like you don't know that I'm not good at this kind of thing. Kuno Heiyu curled his lips, with an indignant expression on his face as if you were embarrassing me, Kuno. Ha ha. Besides laughing, what other expression could Duyi have? After all, the other party is a guy who regards lack of strength as the norm. Where is the support? Where did it come from? Du Yi could only say directly, I am not the only one who was poisoned. Counting the escorting ninjas, after leaving for the Kingdom of Wind, without support, wouldn't the camp be in ruins? Are you maintaining normal border defense? Oh, you're telling me this, the support came together with those vicious guys, didn't I tell you? Kuno Kuroyuki scratched his head in confusion. Of course I didn't say that. Du Yi rolled his eyes speechlessly, twitched the corners of his mouth, and sighed, the two parties came together. From Konoha village. That's not true, those seven teams are said to have been transferred from the Kingdom of Win. Kuno Kuroyu replied. Seven teams. Um, what's the approximate strength? How many Jonin are there? I don't know. Kuno Kuiyu shook his head directly. He didn't pay attention to those things at all. Ha ha. Okay. The corner of Duyi's mouth twitched, and he stopped talking nonsense. Since he couldn't get any answer anyway, he might as well save his energy to ask Genesuke Oki. The next day, Duyi woke up with a feeling of paralysis. Don't get excited, that's normal. A soft hand pressed on his chest, and a soft voice came into his ears. Duyi frowned and looked up, naturally it was Shimokawa Yakina. Sister Shui Nai, what's going on? Duyi asked with difficulty. The numbness in his right shoulder was stronger than before, and even the strength could not be transmitted to the arm. This strange and familiar feeling, Duyi was extremely panicked. The poison of San Shinobi is very powerful. With my ability, I can only suppress it slightly, but the poison is still taking effect. Shimokawa Yukina helped Duyi lie down and explained slowly. So, how long will it take? I mean, will this leave some hidden dangers? Du Yi grabbed Shimokawa Yukina's Rui and asked eagerly, completely losing the calm temperament of the past. Don't worry, with that gentleman's medical skills, San Shinobi's poison has not been able to catch her yet. Shimokawa Yukina smiled and comforted. After all, the era of the flower of ninja has passed, and that gentleman is the most watched in the ninja world. The Kunoichi. Sister Shui Nai, do you admire that adult? Du Yi suppressed his panic for the time being pretending to be age-appropriate, and said curiously, blinking. Regardless of whether Shimagawa Yukina's comfort was true or not, Duyi was full of confidence in that kunoichi, so after changing the topic, his mood calmed down a little. Of course, especially since I'm a medical ninja. Shimokawa Yukina said matter-of-factly. Okay, it's breakfast time. Duyi, the time has been advanced. A whistling voice came in along with the sound of pushing the door open. Kuno Heiyu grinned at Duyi with a look of unconcealable joy. Why advance? Duyi asked casually, almost getting used to Kuno Heiyu's carefree character. We will set off for the Kingdom of Wind at noon. It was originally expected to be tomorrow, but things in the camp have been taken care of. Captain Uehara has taken over Captain Serutobi's duties, so everyone can leave early. Gen Aoki walked in later. Nosuke explained. 
Let's have some breakfast first. Maruboshi Kosuke was holding a large bowl of bone soup. A layer of grease floated on the surface of the soup, and a tangy and greasy smell emanated, instantly changing the air in the medical lounge. The corner of Duyi's mouth twitched, but he didn't refuse. After all, this is the world of ninjas, which is different from the previous life. If you want to recover as soon as possible, it is necessary to take a lot of bone soup, even for breakfast. Captain Uehara, is Jonan transferred from the Kingdom of Wind? Do ye asked casually during breakfast. Well, that's right. Genesuke Aoki took a sip of the thick soup, exhaled a breath of hot breath, and said, Captain Sarutobi was too seriously injured this time. Although he saved his life, he fell into a coma. What is needed next is recuperate and was escorted back to the village yesterday. This is all my fault. Maruhoshi Kosuke murmured, his head lowered with a look of sorrow on his face. Senior Fusuk, the matter has come to this, it is useless to blame yourself. Besides, it is not your fault. Genesuke Aoki patted his shoulder to comfort Fusuk Maruboshi. To this, Maruhoshi Kosuke remained silent, with the past stuck in his throat. Of course he couldn't listen to this kind of persuasion. Seeing this scene, Duyi didn't say much. Of course, he has a general understanding of Maruboshi Kosuke's affairs, but he is not good at talking, and he does not have the infectious power of Ashura Chakra. On the contrary, he always makes mistakes when talking too much. In his opinion, Giuji's appearance in the team is a fortune from heaven. If he can learn anything from him, it will be rare and valuable. It's just that although Kosuke Maruhoshi is kind and amiable, his attitude towards his companions is very awkward. He is both close and distant at the same time, as if he is afraid of bringing disaster. Now it has calmed down a lot. After a fierce battle with San Shinobi, all members of Aoki's team survived, which made him let go of his estrangement. Therefore, for the sake of caution, this matter needs to be dealt with slowly and cannot be rushed. On a warm sunny afternoon, the Shanyan camp enjoyed the cool breeze blowing by. As a result, the teams preparing to set off were all in high spirits. Captain Aoki, I'll leave it to you this time. Uehara Yuji looked at Chunin in front of him with a serious expression. Yes. Genesuke Aoki nodded heavily. At the same time, in the team of 20 people, Duyi was observing another team that was about to set off but had a completely different journey. That guy is what I said. Look at the scar that splits the bridge of his nose. Isn't he very ferocious? Kuno Kuroyame leaned next to him and lowered his voice. Duyi glanced at him sideways, but couldn't hold it back after all, and the corner of his mouth twitched. You are judging people by their appearance. Duyi said casually. The ninja with a slanted scar on his face is the one with the fierce look in Kuno Kurom's mouth. He is the leader of another team that is about to leave the camp. His appearance and temperament are indeed as Kuno Kurom said, with a ferocious look on his face. But what caught Duyi's attention was the other person's wheat-colored blonde hair. It's the Yamanaka clan, Duyi thought to himself, but he was almost certain that he had also seen the Yamanaka clan ninja who died in the previous battle. Therefore, although the opponent is vicious, he probably does not come from the Konoha torture department, but the intelligence department. Otherwise, it cannot be explained how Sano, who has a certain status in San Shinobi, was able to find out the truth about this raid. The Kingdom of Whirlpool was destroyed that year, and its heritage was divided among all the forces in the ninja world. The most famous one was the Iron Armor Seal of Cloud Shinobi Village. In addition, San Shinobi has certainly gained something. At least it is possible to impose a seal on the minds of politicians to prevent secrets from being leaked. This requires special ninjas like the Yamanaka clan who are masters of Grandmaster Magic. It's time to hit the road. Genesuke Aoki's words brought Duyi back to his senses, and then set off with the team. Everyone, be on guard. This country has not been peaceful recently. As the sun set in the west, Genesuke Aoki said as he was about to arrive at a barren hill. When the ninjas who were guarding the team heard this, their expressions were solemn, and their gazes around them became sharper, especially the rising barren hills. Excluding the hidden effects of ninjutsu, that was the only area where the vision was obscured. On this trip to the country of Wind, we had to cross the country of Sichuan. Previously, Konoha gathered its forces to repel San Shinobi from the country of Wind to the country of Wind. 
The war in the country of Sichuan subsided, but the country of Sichuan did not have itself. After the war, the ninja force only had a brief pause, but was turned into a mess by various gangs, wandering samurai and even rebel ninjas who took advantage of the troubled waters. Therefore, their team of more than 20 people, with most of them injured, had to proceed with caution. It's just that Duyi doesn't think that those unscrupulous guys have the courage to offend Konoha's ninjas. After all, who can predict whether Konoha's army will suddenly turn back? No matter who wins the war between San Shinobi and Konoha in the end, those who only dare to hide in the darkness will only dare to hide in the darkness. Of course, after the previous border raid, there may still be San Shinobi ninja activities in Kawanobi. At least according to the information dug out of Sano's head, there is another team of similar strength that went into hiding without fighting. What's more, even if there is no such reason, there is nothing wrong with being cautious. There were no encounters after the barren hills. This was the norm. During the next two days of traveling, Duyi gradually got used to it. With the efficiency of ninjas, it would take about three days to cross the country of Sichuan. Now with all the baggage, it would take five days. So by the time he reached the halfway pawn, Duyi had accumulated enough energy to activate the Master Thief. It's night, the sky is dark, and it seems like there will be rain at night. In the sleeping bag, Du Yi was lying sideways, and the numbness in his right shoulder had spread to his forearm, making him feel numb in his fingers, which made him always a little anxious. So even though he believed that the medical ninjutsu was enough to solve the seemingly serious poisoning situation, Du Yi still hoped to resolve the matter as soon as possible. In this matter, even he could not maintain his rationality and pursue interests, maximize. However, this kind of thing just passes through the mind. The master thief is not a wishing machine. Whichever dimension you enter and whatever you grab is the next piece of chocolate, just like the unpredictable life. Quietly, the energy of the wonderful thief was exhausted, and Duyi also pulled his hand out of the different dimension. At this moment, a pill with a refreshing aroma was lying in his hand. Name, Golden Marrow Pill. Source, The Story of Immortals Cultivation of Immortality. Introduction. Increase your skills and transform yourself. Du Yi was slightly startled when he saw this, and then swallowed it in his mouth without hesitation. As for, the story of mortal cultivation of immortality, Du Yi only heard its name, but also knew that it was the originator of the mortal stream in online literature. Now that he had grabbed another elixir, he swallowed it immediately after seeing the introduction. The effects of the elixir took effect quickly. Du Yi intuitively felt a warm current emerging from the depths of his organs, flowing through the five internal organs, and then activating to the outside. The power of the medicine heated up the muscles and bones, and pure vitality glowed on Du Yi's immature body. If you soak in the hot spring and enjoy it, you will really feel like you have been reborn. The next morning, the fragrant fish soup woke Du Yi up. The quality of her sleep last night was excellent, and she was naturally full of energy at this moment. Huh, Du Yi said softly, opened the sleeping bag, and looked at the raised right arm. Try to make a fist, and the force transmitted by the fingertips presses on the palm. The feeling is quite clear, it seems. It seems more powerful, Du Yi muttered to himself. At the same time, he also noticed that the numbness in his right arm had slowed down a lot, but it was not completely eliminated. He planned to check with the accompanying medical ninja later. What is more obvious is the increase in chakra amount, and the feeling of fasting is extremely strong at this moment. The sky was blue, and there was no rain falling last night. The air was slightly cool, and it dissipated after a while under the warm sunshine. Wow, do ye, your belly. The Aoki team gathered around Maruboshi Kosuke's stew pot for breakfast. Kuno Kuroyame held the bowl and looked at Duyi who had finished the third bowl with a look of shock. Oh. Genesuke Aoki also raised his eyebrows, then smiled and said to Kuno Kuroyuki, Children of your age are all growing now, so it is also a period of improvement in strength, especially the increase in chakra volume. Obviously, this is normal. But Duyi's body does seem to be stronger than yours, hey you, you need to eat more. So Kuno Kuroyame, this idiot, was fooled and ate three large bowls of food. He had a round belly all morning. Not to mention serving as a guard, he simply became a sick person. The human body will develop drug resistance. 
This principle also applies to poisons, so there is no need to be nervous. This is a normal situation. After checking, Shimokawa Yukina explained to Duyi. This time we rushed to the Kingdom of Wind to escort the wounded, and several of them, including Duyi, were poisoned, so they naturally needed medical ninjas to accompany them in case anything happened. Shimokawa Yukina is one of them. That's it, thank you Sister Shuena. Duyi had a look of understanding on his face and looked relieved. The power of the golden marrow pill has not completely dissipated and is still circulating deep in the five internal organs, so there is no increase in physical fitness or a sudden increase in chakra. However, this is just reasonable, and there is no need to worry about other unexplainable troubles. We will arrive in the kingdom of wind soon, and you won't have to worry about it then. Shimokawa Yukina said with a smile. Yeah, Duyi responded with a smile. The journey was approaching the land of winds, and there was no wind or waves all the way. The expected obstacles did not appear, so Aoki Genesuk felt quite comfortable. Duyi also breathed a sigh of relief. In fact, the strength of the guarding ninjas was pretty good, especially with Maruhoshi Kosuke, the strongest genin, in the team. However, the injuries on his body that had not yet healed and the toxins that were encroaching on his right arm made him feeling deeply uneasy. Now that the journey is about to reach the end, he can gradually relax, but of course he still remains cautious. However, the things dug out of Sano's mind seemed to be of little use and had no impact on this journey. On the fifth day, dusk was approaching, and the colorful clouds on the sky were as bright as fire, reflecting the team that had crossed the border of the Kingdom of Wind and was finally reaching its destination. A narrow gorge. The team did not penetrate directly into it. Genesuke Aoki ordered two chunin to serve as scouts and go in first to investigate the situation. This geographical situation is undoubtedly the best place to set up an ambush, so it is extremely necessary to proceed with caution. Chunin, who was exploring the way, quickly came back. It can pass. One of them confirmed. So the team rushed in. After passing through the Shenxian Gorge, the team headed south. The sunset was swallowed up and night fell, and the team suddenly stopped. Aha! Uh -huh. Two figures suddenly flashed out from behind. Under the bright moonlight, Duyi could vaguely see his figure. Ahead was a deserted village, and a camp in Konoha, with ninjas on patrol appearing. Report your unit and identity. A cold voice came, but there was no murderous intention. This was obviously for the sake of Konoha village forehead protector. Ninjas often get separated during wars, but there are also many other secret missions. I am Genesuke Aoki. I came here from the border guard troops on the border of Huan Sichuan. This is an official document. Genesuke Aoki made a stop gesture to the ninja beside him, and then walked towards the patrolling ninja alone. Genesuke Aoki's attitude was very good, and he made the patrolling ninjas lower their guard. After confirming the documents and asking the purpose of their visit, one of the ninjas said, If this is the case, you need to continue to the south, where the rear hospital is stationed. Place. Ninjas are extremely mobile beings, and the battle lines are often stretched extremely long in wars. Therefore, in order to prepare for surprise attacks, even the rear of the battlefield needs to make some arrangements. This is the case for the ninjas in the deserted village in front. It is almost night, so rest here. After the two sides talked, Genesuke Aoki went to the team to explain. With the speed of the team, it will take about half a day to reach the rear hospital, so we will stay here overnight to recharge our batteries and continue our journey tomorrow morning. Genesuke Aoki immediately made a plan. There is no objection to this. When we started cooking, except that it was a little late, the deserted village seemed to be back to the state it was in before the war. Miss Shimokawa, please have dinner together. Kosuke Maruhoshi served Kuno Kuroyame soup. The meat was fragrant, and he smiled and said to Shimokawa Yukina, who was changing the medicine for Duyi. Yes, Sister Shuena, Kuno Kuroyuki yelled, ha ha. Shimokawa Yukina smiled and glanced at the young man who had pulled up his coat. There was no pain from being touched or injured on his immature but vaguely young face that could vaguely be seen to be handsome in the future. Stay, Sister Shuena, Duyi, who felt the attention, also advised. Then, okay. Shimokawa Yukina nodded and responded with a smile. Maruboshi Kosuke's craftsmanship is very good. He processed the ingredients provided by the patrolling ninjas and stewed them into a pot, adding the seasonings he brought with him. 
It is quite an exclusive private house style. In Duyi's opinion, even if he does not become a ninja in the future, he will return to Konoha village. By opening a store, Kosuke Maruboshi can definitely live a prosperous life. After a night of silence, stepping into the territory occupied by Konoha's army, everyone in the team was more relaxed than in the previous few days, especially Kuno Kurosume. This guy was still snoring at his age. Duyi, why do you look so sleepy? Kuno Heiyu looked at Duyi doubtfully, who couldn't help but yawn. Ha, huh. Duyi turned his head and glared at the unaware culprit, with dark circles in his eyes full of accusations. Here, use a warm water bag to apply it. It will provide some relief. It turned out that Shimokawa Yukina, who had just left, was doing this. Thank you, Duyi took it and said gratefully. Shimokawa Yukina just smiled gently. Under the sunlight, her face looked crystal clear, with a pure warm temperament, but the style of her short hair was a little imperfect. Why does Sister Shuena have short hair? He asked subconsciously. After asking, he felt a little regretful, thinking whether this kind of topic was too close. Shimokawa Yukina was startled when he heard this, stroked the ends of her short hair, raised her eyebrows and said, what, doesn't it look good? In fact, I used to have long hair, and I cherished it very much, but there was a war, haha. Like this it's more convenient. Oh, Du Yi nodded, but a trace of pity flashed in his eyes. After entering the territory of Konoha's army, the team's march slowed down again, but when the sun was high, they arrived at the rear hospital camp as scheduled. Let's rest here for a while. I'll come back as soon as I go. Genesuke Aoki confessed, and then rushed towards the camp ahead. Since they were not hiding, the camp built by the water in this oasis also noticed their arrival. The importance of the hospital at the rear is self-evident, so Genesuke Aoki spent a lot of time this time. Kuno Kuroyame even complained that he was hungry. Fortunately, Genesuke Aoki waved his hand not long after. Let's go over there, one of the accompanying chunin said. In normal times, the prudent approach would naturally be for Genesuke Aoki to rush over and confirm the situation before setting off as normal, but now, there is no need to do so. Thanks for watching subscribe and support my channel.